This year marks the 50th anniversary of the expulsion of Asians from Uganda, the country where I was born. Under Ted Heath's government, people across the country opened up their homes for many of these Asians, who then settled and became, became part of the fabric of our great nation. That British generosity is again being seen as people open up their homes for people fleeing Ukraine as they come to our country. May I urge the Prime Minister to pick up those files from 50 years ago, wipe off the dust and take on board those positive lessons so we can ensure that the Homes for Ukraine scheme has the maximum success. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yes, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I think the whole country can be proud of the, uh, the way the UK uh, welcomed people fleeing Idi Amin's uh, Uganda, and I, I'm sure that there are many members of the, of the House, or several members of the House, and I know the Home Secretary herself, uh, her family was a beneficiary uh, of, of that scheme and that moment. This country is. Uh, her family was a beneficiary uh, of, of that scheme and that. This daughter of immigrants needs no lectures from the North London metropolitan liberal elite. I have a particular responsibility when it comes to taking back control. It is to end the free movement of people once and for all. I don't know if I'd actually be in this country under these rules. Would you, with your parents? This isn't about my background or my parents. But it's my... interesting. Would you have qualified? Would your parents, I understand, came from Uganda and then were very successful in setting up news agents? They wouldn't have qualified, would they? This is a very different system to what has gone on in the past. And but, don't forget, this is a points-based system you based on the labour market. Secretary. Yeah, but also, let's not forget, Nick, we are not, we are not changing no, it's interesting, our isn't it? I approach don't think to I'd refugees and asylum no, no, no. seekers, I don't think I'd which be is here. very different and to I a points-based...